you, you go out on a date with a woman and doesn't work for you. You go out on a date with another woman, doesn't work for you, goes out on a date with another woman. And what you <laughs> discover is that almost every woman has that pattern because that's the way women are. Let's talk about repeating patterns in life and love. We hear from lots of people that they face the same issue or the same relationship over and over again. Why do we repeat these patterns and how can we stop them and get rid of the ones we don't like? Okay, so who you are, who we are, is created in relationship um, with our parents, with our primary caregivers. Um, so we develop a character in relationship to those people and that makes us respond in certain ways to certain things that, that and it makes people respond to us in certain ways um, and it also creates a, a structure in our body. When we try to change a structure that is solid, it's, it's very difficult to do. We can, we can try to use our mind to change it and it works to a degree. It, it only goes so far. So we have to really get to the unconscious, which is sort of our character, our, our personality. And what people say, that's just who I am, that's how I am, and that's mm -hmm. true. Although, if you can access the unconscious, you can change it. Yeah, I, I take um, kind of another approach, which is around every experience, every pattern is a teacher, right? These things reveal something to ourselves about ourselves. And they are like a puzzle um, that you can view from the minutia of what are the details of the repetition and then what's the bigger picture of that repetition. Um, and basically like solve the riddle. What's the, what's the question? So for example, I had a repeating pattern around men, which many of us do based on relationship with my father. And it was, when I left my ex-husband, which had been like a nine year emotionally abusive relationship, um, my question wasn't so much like, why is he that way? It was, why did I choose him? Why did I stay? Why do I have this pattern? When I connected it to, oh yeah, my grandfather. Oh yeah, my father. I married my, my um, paternal line, <laughs> I guess. Um, that then the began kind of the, the journey to, okay, what does that mean about my self-worth? What am I chasing? And so it's like a puzzle work is, is kind of a piece of it. And tying that with the fact that, yes, we're solid structures, but we also know like that we have all this neuroscience now about how plastic the brain is and that we can rewire it intentionally, that it's constantly changing. We're making it at all times. Like we act like it's, it's set in stone but all this research shows it's really not. We can go through amazing transformations with the intentionality of um, engaging with it, not uh, feeling victim to it. In my life, it was very difficult because I have certain repetitive pattern which I lived. And I remember when I was driving a car and somebody went ahead of me when I lived in India or in Ecuador, I used to get angry and I used to, you know, hit something and I knew that there was something inside me, but I was not able to locate it. So of course, you know, uh, to in order to answer this, this question, I really am grateful to three persons in my life. First, my father, Raghunath Mehra, who taught me how to meditate when I was four years old. Because body is very intelligent. Like Meinhold says, the opposite is very important. Opposite, if opposite is not there, I cannot recognize myself. I need the opposite to recognize myself like day or night. Which is more important, day or night? 100% of day is death, 100% of night is death. So when I recognize, so disease is not an enemy, but it's a path to grow. Through disease, I learn of that rejected part which was not integrated during my childhood. And that comes into recognition, I accept it and I integrate and disease goes away because that part is recognized because the body has the perfect wisdom to create the perfect symptom. Mm -hmm. So another way of looking at repeating patterns sometimes is you, you go out on a date with a woman and doesn't work for you. You go out on a date with another woman, doesn't work for you, goes out on a date with another woman and what you discover is that 
almost every woman has that pattern because that's the way women are. <laughs> and I remember having a limo driver once tell me, yeah, I said, well, are you married? He says, I'm, I have not good fortune and I have bad luck in relationships. And I said, really? He said, how many have you had? He said, six. <laughs> and, and he says, yes, every time I have a relationship after, you know, like six weeks or a month or so, it's like they all need therapy. And I said, don't say anything more. I'm going to tell you exactly who that woman is. He thought he was like plagued with bad luck or that uh, he only picked the wrong women. I said, well, basically, that's what women do. They, they open up to you. Once you get close to them, they're going to start talking about problems. And you're going to solve them, and they're going to feel better the first time. And then the same problems come back, and they come back. And you're going to go, what happened? What happened? Why, why aren't you getting better? I thought I made you happy. He said, how do you know all these women? I say, this is women. So part of repeating patterns is just we keep not understanding how men are and how women are. So you keep getting the same thing over and over. And I'm grateful to have been a, to be a therapist. And for many, many years, I'd had difficulties with my wife. And every woman I was counseling that week was saying the same things about her husband. So I got to see I can leave my wife, but I'm just going to find another one. And so why I learned to bring out the best in women and see the best and embrace that. What I'm hearing from everyone is that when it comes to bad patterns, there's accountability and perspective that's needed. Accountability that you are a contributor to your own bad pattern and perspective, meaning that you either need to back up and look at it yourself or get someone on the outside to assist you in that process.